Hi, welcome for today's tip. Today we will illustrate how to use helix in Onshape. I need a sketch on top plane. Just make a simple sketch of a circle of diameter 6 inch. You can hide planes by pressing P. I need two lines here to represent X and Y axis. I want them for to be for construction. These two lines represent x axis as per the cube, y axis as per the cube. Let me make them a little bit longer. I don't need I don't need to fully define them, they are just for construction. Therefore, if you select Helix. Helix has five ways you can be able to define. Whenever you're using a sketch, you have to use either height and turns, height and pitch, or turns and turns and pitch. If there's an existing surface like a cylinder, you can use turns and pitch because the height of the cylinder defines the height and turns. Let me use height and pitch. Select my edge. Let me go back to top. I want you to pay close attention to where my spines are starting. Okay. Let me hide the sketch. I don't need a sketch for now. If I select, let me select 0 0.25 for the pitch height of 3 inches. Or use 1. Okay. Let's say, okay. Let me back to my sketch. Let me show the sketch. You can see this this helix here it starts at positive x direction. This point here. Therefore, let me hide the sketch. This point is along x axis. It is along our line. This line. If if you extend this line, it will meet this point therefore if let me add it because the start angle was zero let's see what happens when i put 90 let's select ok now once i select 90 it shifts to y axis if you go back to your sketch you can see this point this end point for this plane for the helix is coincident to this line. If this line was to extend, it could go to this point. Therefore, if you select a start angle of 90, it is like you are rotating along the axis. I'm rotating from positive x. If you select 90, you go to positive y. If I select 180, Let's see what happens. I'm rotating and now I go to negative x. You can see this point. Last three. If now I use 270, that is plus 90, I go back to negative y. This is along negative y. Therefore, if you go top, this up is positive. But this point here is at on this point here. It is along negative y if you select your, your sketch. That's how you define start angle and in a, in a helix. And let me suppress this and illustrate how to use the other types of. Before I suppress, let me first and suppress, edit. I said you can use height and pitch. I'm defining my height and pitch. Pitch is the distance between two, two complete helixes. And for this one makes one complete turn. If it makes another turn, it will it will move by one inch. Therefore, you can also use turns and and pitch. These are four turns. You can see one, two, one, two, three, four. Still, I can use height and turns. 
want to illustrate how you can use turns or pitch option okay i want to suppress and i want to extrude i want to extrude by four inch like that then i need to select my helix for the turns you have to select the conical or cylindrical face that face there's this option of clockwise and counterclockwise let me as you can see whenever i use a face i have to use turns define the number of turns because the pitch will be automatically be calculated by the height the height because the height is constant it can do the calculation for the pitch or give it a pitch if you give it a pitch of one inch remember this one is a height of four depending on that height it will give you four revolutions one one two three four because i used a height of four inch lastly i want to illustrate how you can use a counterclockwise and clockwise types of helix let me go back here and see what happens you can see now how is my let me hide the sketch how is my helix progressing this one this one is clockwise i'm rotating along z axis if for me to illustrate well just see what is happening it is rotate if i go top it is rotating like, like this that is the clockwise do not confuse with the actual clock if i if i use counterclockwise now my helix go opposite along the z axis okay if you not rotate this along the z axis it is like opposite moving from y to x and back to y to x y to x moving from y axis to x axis that is negative that is counterclockwise but moving from x axis you go to y axis that becomes a positive clock or clockwise rotation do not confuse between the actual clockwise and the watch clockwise movement thank you stay tuned for more tips